Hi everyone and welcome back on my channel. My name is Willow and some of you may have noticed that I've changed my channel name from Make It An Adventure to Simply Willow North. I just thought it made more sense that way since my channel isn't only about vlogs anymore and traveling and adventures. So yeah, anyway, welcome to this new phase of my channel. Today we're gonna talk about Beltane, another pagan Sabbath or celebration. And it's probably my favorite one, uh, kind of just because it falls right into Taurus season. I'm a little biased, <laughs> but uh, it's a great one. Beltane is typically celebrated in the Northern Hemisphere on May 1st or more traditionally from April 30th through the night onto May 1st, hence why it's also called May Day. May Day! And in the Southern Hemisphere it is celebrated on the 31st of October onto November 1st. It falls pretty much halfway through uh, the spring equinox and the summer solstice and it is typically the peak of spring like everything is blooming the birds are singing it's all about life it's a celebration that honors life birth and love so Beltane also often spelled with an I Beltane is actually the combination of two words the first one being Bel the name of a Celtic god uh, which means the bright one and the word Tane it's a Gaelic word meaning fire so put together Beltane can kind of be translated as the bright fire and you may have guessed it it is a fire festival the second one of four we remember in bulk being the first one and it is also often considered to be one of two solar festivals along with Samhain or Halloween both Sabbaths are also kind of sisters uh, because they're opposites on the wheel of the year which is also why when people in the northern hemisphere celebrate Beltane uh, people in the southern celebrate Samhain I mean it's like that with the other ones as well but they're both considered by many many to be uh, the most the two most important Sabbaths so in the myth the Sabbath is about the union of the goddess in her maiden form to the horn god or the green man so it is really the union of the feminine and the masculine energies the union of earth and sky a celebration as I said about love but also passion fertility sensuality sexuality it's good time for sexy time no matter the orientation I know I mentioned feminine and masculine but it's all the energies. It is also a good day for women who want to become pregnant to try for that. And it's a good day to bring ideas, hopes and dreams into action. Historically, it was widely observed in Ireland, Scotland and on the Isle of Man. And traditionally as well, on Beltane, all of the fires in the community needed to be put out. All the fires in the house, in the street, no fires. And everyone would then gather together to make a, one big special one to encourage the support of Bell and the sun throughout the, all of the summer and the coming harvest. I guess before the fire got too big, people would jump over the fire in order to cleanse themselves, but uh, also it would encourage fertility since it's a time of fertility. And therefore, couples would jump together hand in hand, sort of as a promise to each other. Cute! It's typically a day when a pagan and witches get married as well, since it's, it's all about it's all about the love but there is also this tradition of hand fasting which is where couples would get their hands tied together with a red ribbon sort of as a promise for a year and a day originally like typically but it could be longer or shorter time but then after that period of time they would see if they still want to be together and get married there used to also be I don't know if it's still done today sort of more of a, 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 as a tradition there used to be the jumping of the broomstick tradition uh, where couples who couldn't afford a sort of a real wedding or a ceremony for a wedding would simply jump over a broomstick that was on the floor as sort of a threshold between the life before and the life after and they would sort of be accepted as a married couple within the community now of course we can't really do that anymore i don't know it wouldn't be legally accepted but i don't know i think it's just a cute kind of thing. <laughs> so after all the day celebration, couples, young and old, would sort of just go a maying, meaning that they would run off in the woods and uh, have some fun. And then they'd come back with flowers and decorate the house. Why? 
No. But Beltane wouldn't be Beltane if we don't talk about the famous pole, the famous Mayday pole. It is either a wooden or metal pole that is inserted in the earth and represents the potency of the horn god or the masculine energy. On top of which a ring of flowers representing the fertile goddess would be put around that ring of flowers. Colored ribbons are also tied and people sort of just like take them and like go around and dance. And it represents the spiral of life and the union of earth and sky. Wow, amazing. Now, how, how do we celebrate that today, nowadays, in the middle of a pandemic? Good question. Here are some suggestions. So if you're alone, you could go have a picnic in a park or just outside um, if it's allowed obviously and you know have like a cute little picnic um, read a poetry maybe a love story um, a love book you can create a flower crown I forgot to put it on before that maybe it was bitter who knows so yes flower crowns or you know you can also just go picking flowers to decorate the home or wear them in any way if you can spend this time with your loved ones typically you can dance around a maple but since it is more of a a group event I guess not really <laughs> not this year again when not in the pandemic you can find events near you to celebrate it spells for love are very good as well and light a fire if you can where you are have a bonfire at night that's that's always good or just light some candles you know let's not forget anything that represents the sun sun deities bell i mean let's not forget bell he's literally in the name but let's have a little thought for bell as always feasts have some good food here are some suggestions for food oats in any form so it could be cookies it could be I don't know, what else do you use oats for? <laughs> I really only make cookies. A spicy food to represent fire and the sun. Vanilla flavored things or you know, any aphrodisiac spice. Anything that's flowery flavored. Sweet breads. A little or a lot of sparkling wine. Med as well. Is that how it's pronounced? Mead? I don't know. Mead. In French, it's hydromel. Doesn't sound anything alike. But hey, you know, it is the oldest alcoholic beverage known to this day. It is made out of honey and honey... Honey! So, drink that if you can find some or make some. You know, any fruits, strawberry, peaches, fruits, and honey, as I mentioned. Honey. I really should have mentioned colors before that. Color correspondence to wear or to decorate your altar with um, are pretty much every color ever. Like, <laughs> I've just seen so many different posts about different colors that I just assumed that it's all the colors. But typically, red, green, and white or silver. But that sounds too much like Yule to me. So let's add in pink, blue, violet, uh, or purple, orange, yellow for the sun. Let's not forget the sun again. So yeah, those are the colors. The colors, or any other color that you can think of. That makes you feel like Spring, you know. Well, there you go. So that's what I have. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please, please, please subscribe and share it with your witchy friends or anyone that you think is gonna be interested in this. Uh, thank you so, so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing Beltane, uh, even if it's not like the greatest thing, at least if it's a good weather, be outside, just enjoy the nature and the peak of spring and have some love for other ones but for yourself as well ooh, ooh, the sun's coming out actually hello and i always forget to mention it but for those who don't know and don't follow me on instagram i sometimes make candles and uh they're sort of you know themed around the wheel of the year and the witches sabbaths so uh, i'm actually right now in preparation of the beltane ones they're not ready just yet but stay tuned about that if you want to check them out i have my instagram account for the candles which is the northern willow or you can just check it out directly on etsy yeah, anyway i just thought i'd mention it again thank you so so much for watching uh, i will see you next week next friday with a new video in the meantime you can follow me on all my social medias to see what I do, I post about witchcraft and about my candles and about my cat or just my face. You know, that's Instagram. Well, yeah, it's mostly Instagram. Anyway, so, bye!